everyone. Welcome back to the weekend vlog. It is Friday. I just got off of work. I'm going to be eating an apple. Mm. I'm so hungry. This is my second snack for today because I usually have a second snack at work and I didn't today and I'm hungry. But anyway, you guys, so it is Friday. I'm happy to be home. Snooky Louise, oh my goodness, she gets groomed tomorrow, so can't wait for that because she is a hairy mess. I told you guys last weekend that my mom's surgery for her knee replacement went really well. So she's recovering at the nursing home right now, like the rehabilitation center. And I am just going to, you know, possibly this weekend, like go visit her obviously a lot. Um, if you guys were unaware or whatever, Elijah Daniel invited me to open for his concert this weekend in Chicago, but I had to decline just because with my mom having the surgery and stuff like that, I was like super nervous about leaving and you know, I'd probably have to spend the night or whatever. And I just, I don't know. I know I told you guys that I was a yes girl now, but I feel like this was a tiny bit of an exception. So I'm not going to be opening. Um, obviously, that has already passed since this video will go up the following week and the dog is trying to lick my apple. But anyway, you guys, I took on a second position at work. I don't think I spoke about this uh, last weekend. So I took on a small position. It's just a very, very small position, but it is every day. So it adds on a few hours um, every day to my work schedule. So just bear with me. You know, I'm trying something new. Um, I really like it so far. This was my first week and yeah, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm living my life. I have to leave really soon to go do that. So I'll be vlogging later though. Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. So I chose my wax for today that I'm going to be showing you guys. Uh, what I'm going to be melting of things. So from House of Usher Wax um, Museum, I have the Coconut Pumpkin Whipped Cream. So that's left over from like two years ago, you guys, and it still has a really good scent throw. And then I also have by Old Primitive Treasures, Pumpkin Carrot Streusel, uh, Frosted Oatmeal Cookie, Pear Spice, Autumn Wreath, and then by Wilma's shop, I have buttermilk pancakes. And then in this container, I have all of the wax left over from last week that I put in the big one here, the big plate, and melt that kind of all together. Um, it's all fall fragrances, so not a big deal, but that is what I'm gonna be melting here today. I have everything divided. Um, I didn't really do a mixology that much this time around with the exception of the pancake and the pumpkin from the Usher Wax Museum. Uh, but this is what everything looks like. Ooh, it's smelling like a pumpkin patch up here. So, good morning. I got myself ready. Actually, it's after 12 noon. Um, I've just been lounging, you know, doing my thing. Miss Snooky Louise is getting groomed today. As you guys can see, her lovely face is all, you know, hairy and needs to be cleaned up and things. Oh, do you smell my pumpkin? Do you smell my pumpkin? Oh, my lovely lady. You guys, she's been having a few allergy problems. Um, when dogs have allergy problems, they lick and itch their paws. And Snooky Louise has allergies in the early, early spring and then just the start of fall. Um, and then they go away. And I don't give her any medication uh, because it doesn't seem to bother her too severely. Like, she's not sneezing. She doesn't have, like, conjunctivitis in the eyes. And um, her paws, you know, aren't that bad. They don't look red or irritated or anything like that. Um, you know, they're still brown. But anyway, so she gets groomed today and... I'm going to have the groomer keep her long um, just because it is getting colder outside and I feel like, you know, she needs her long fur to stay warm. I am going to have her, though, trim up her face, you know, for sure because, sorry, girl, looking a little hairy. You're just looking a little hairy. I'll show you guys her body right now. 
So this is pretty much, um, you know, the hair that she has, her fur. And as you guys can see, when she gets into the sunlight, do you guys see that kind of lavender shimmer to her? I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not, but Snooky Louise is considered, a, her color is considered a liver um, chocolate frosted lavender, which is extremely, extremely rare color. I was told that she has like just a tint of that frosted lavender color in her. Um, and then of course liver because she's got the brown nose and the little brown pads on her feet. You don't like me touch, she doesn't like me touching her feet, so I won't, don't worry. But anyway, you guys, so that's going on today. And then I plan on going to Costco. Um, I need to pick up laundry detergent and there were a few odds and ends that I needed to just look for there. Um, I was thinking about getting that chicken pot pie that Costco has just because it is so cold here and I'm like, like in that mood to like you know do soups and stews and like home cooking and like tasty tasty meals you know that'll keep you warm inside those type of meals um so I'm really getting into the fall spirit by the way today is the first day of fall uh yeah yeah, today's the first day of fall. I had to think for a little bit there. Um, what else am I doing today? I'm trying to think. Um, I was going to go to Big Lots, but I don't think I'm going to have time for that. I think Costco is going to be just, you know, where it's at. I'm probably going to visit my mom later on today, which I will not record, but I may record tomorrow when I go. Maybe if she's feeling a little bit better, I don't know. Um, she's still getting a little bit of lightheadedness, like lightheadedness. Is that a word? I don't know. Like when she stands up, her blood pressure drops because she's on such heavy narcotics from her surgery still, um, which she has to be. Uh, that I think the medication is, you know, making that happen or whatever. But anyway, you guys, so yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Taking her to get groomed, going to Costco. Oh, and the mail situation from last week. Um, if you guys missed that little story clip that I put in my last weekend's vlog, go watch last weekend's vlog. It wasn't that long at all because I didn't record that much, but Basically, all of our mail did not get delivered, and I'm talking about, like, everyone's mail in the whole city of, like, the Fox Cities, like, in the Valley, and um, there were certain days that had some mail not delivered, but the day that was, like, severe, which was, like, everyone's mail was September 4th. And yeah, that still is happening. Like people are still having to cancel their checks and it's $30 to cancel your check and then they're getting late fees. I was not affected by that, thank God. But anyway, so another situation that is happening, I needed to get my mom's mail forwarded because obviously she is, you know, at the nursing home and things for a few weeks. And I had her mail forwarded to my PO box, which is a business PO box. Um, because I use it strictly for YouTube and for like certain incidences like this where there's an emergency or, you know, like a weird situation or whatever, which it's really nice to have a PO box for stuff like this. And I got this letter stating that it's okay to have her email or her mail forwarded to my PO box, but when I want it to stop getting forwarded, I have to physically go in. Like the person who owns the PO box has to physically go... I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the post office where you guys are, but over here, it's like a cluster. It's like, it's bad. It's like there's things happening here at the post office that are not good. So that's all I have right now, but it smells so, so good in here, you guys. It smells of like pumpkin patch, forest, acorns what does an acorn smell like i don't know like nutmeg cinnamon cloves like all of that kind of fall apple -y type of pumpkin patch it's all over my house right now and it's fabulous i'm hoping it like soaks into my clothes so when i go out i smell like a apple festival or something Hey guys, so we got stopped by a train and we are on our way to get Snooky Louise groomed. She is nervous. She's always nervous, you guys, to get groomed. Um, but the groomer does such a good job with her. And you guys, someone has been posting puppy pictures on Facebook 
and their little Shih Tzus. And the one that I got today was black and white. And I am just like, you've got to be kidding me because these dogs are so cute and I have serious, serious puppy fever right now. It's awful. Ooh, you guys. They were tempting me with that frickin' pumpkin pie, and I said no. It was only $5.99, and the pie was frickin' massive. It was like probably equivalent to five regular pumpkin pies. So, I mean, if you're at Costco, the pumpkin pies are there, but I got the mac and cheese um, because I do plan on having company over next week, so I wanted to get that in the house. And then I also got bagels and stuff like that. Um, but they were so busy. Hey guys, so Miss Snooky Louise got groomed and she's messy already because this is what she does. After she gets groomed, she tossles herself, rolls around in her car seat, gets herself looking all a mess, and then we go home. So anyway, you guys, I'm on my way home. I'm gonna watch some Lifetime movies and just chill relax um oh and i did the walmart pickup for groceries for my very first time i did pick up something that i bought at walmart a while ago um but this time i did my groceries so we'll see how that goes i'm picking up tomorrow morning um and i got ten dollars off of my first fifty dollar purchase so i use that coupon Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday morning, very early, like 7.30 in the morning, and I am barely alive. I still have to get my coffee. I still have to wake up and straighten my hair. I just got up and just didn't even really do anything with it. Um, I got my makeup on, but anyway. So I am on my way to Hellmart's with Miss Nooky Louise because I did the grocery whatever. Oh my God, my phone just fell. Anyway, you know, the grocery pickup or whatever. So I had my grocery pickup scheduled from eight to nine o'clock and I woke up this morning at 5.30 and I decided to go on the app at like 7.30 because they said you need to check the app to see when things are available for pickup and then like check in and let them know that you're on the way. Well, I checked in at like 7.30 and it said that my order was ready, which is weird because I have meat. I have like frozen turkey meat. So I'm hoping that like they have my cart in like a freezer section or something. I don't know. Uh, because I do have like refrigerator and freezer foods. So anyway, I'm going to go do that now. Um, by the way, the link for that is going to be down below and it is a referral link, not sponsored, but I am giving you guys my referral link. So if you haven't done the Walmart groceries, you can get $10 off of your first purchase of $50. So you can get 50 bucks worth of food for 40 bucks. The referral link is down below. If you guys want, click on it, try it out. Let me know how you like it. Again, I don't know how it's gonna go. It's my first time doing it, but it is so cold outside. I'm wearing my Packers little sweatshirt because I'm freezing. Okay, you guys, so I checked in on the app and I'm on my way to Hellmart and the weirdest thing, so it asks, well, I mean, this really isn't weird. It asks what color your car is, which I get, but then it also tracks your location on your phone. Like you can opt to not, but it's better, I guess, if you do, because that way they can see like exactly where you are or whatever, um, like how far away you are. Because I mean, if somebody lives 15 minutes away or whatever, then your groceries are just gonna be sitting there. Or I suppose if somebody lives really close, they need to know exactly how much time they have to pick them up. But this is interesting. So basically Walmart right now is tracking where I am, my location says it's gonna take me eight minutes to get there, which it's probably gonna take me three. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting. And then you can also like, let's say they don't have the item in stock that you want. You can choose like if you want something similar or whatever. Um, they can also, you know, substitute, but you can like choose if you want them to substitute or not. So if you don't, that's okay or whatever. Um, but if they do, it has to be of equal or greater value. 
So that's kind of good to know. Okay, you guys, so I am here at Hallmark. I kind of wanted to just like record my whole experience with you guys with this whole pickup situation. But as you can see on the side of the store, it says pickup. So I guess I'm just supposed to park there. And there's some, oh, there's a black vehicle. Cause I had to say like what color my vehicle is. I hope they're not putting groceries in that black vehicle. My groceries, I'm gonna be livid. You guys, she's putting the groceries in the trunk right now. And the dog is furious about it. But this is like, awesome i cannot like and she said all of my items are what i wanted sookie louise stop that's enough oh my god you guys she's awful just okay awful. you guys so i'm done like literally within a matter of one minute she said that my receipt is in one of the bags there's a questionnaire to fill out or whatever um, and she said something about a hoodie or something, like something is in one of the bags. She said, so make sure like, and don't throw it out, like make sure to get that or whatever, or I don't know what she was talking about. But anyway, you guys, I am living for this. Like literally you could get, I don't know if you can get $10 off of, um, your order every time of $50 or like how that works. But even not, you guys, this is an amazing, amazing thing and I'm living for it. So again, you guys, I will leave the link for that down below in the description box. If you guys are interested, like I said, I'm not being sponsored, but it is a promo code. So I don't know how much kickback I get out of it. I am not real sure. Um, but if you click on the link, you get $10 off of your $50 groceries or actually I think it's like, whatever is in the store. I don't think it's strictly grocery, so you can basically get anything. So you can get $10 off of 50 for anything, which is amazing. Okay, so I just got home from Walmart and let me just fix the light here. Oh my goodness, the sun is shining. It is bright outside. Um, and I just had time to like sit down, check out all my social media, which I try to do like at least once a day, if not more than that. Anyway, and I noticed that, um, well, actually it was pointed out to me because I don't follow this person, that somebody posted a very similar Yankee Candle video to mine um, in regards to, you know, how the candle company is doing and things like that. I did not watch it. I will not watch it. I will not support this person, um, hands down, never in my entire life. This person has come, um, you know, begging to me, asking for forgiveness, and I feel like it's my choice to forgive somebody if I want to or not and I you know maybe can forgive but never will forget and I just I don't want to have um, that toxic type of person or toxic type of you know commentary or communication in my life I just got rid of it a long time ago um but anyway, and I just want to point out to you guys, make sure you are watching people who genuinely care about the candle companies. Make sure you are watching people on YouTube in the candle community that have the candle community's best interest at heart and are not just posting videos for the views, um, you know, and not caring about their subscribers at all and only really caring about the money side of YouTube. Um, I've said this before and I'll say it again. If I post a video and I only get five views, I don't give two shits. I don't care. That's not the reason why I signed up for YouTube. It has nothing to do with the money for me. It has nothing to do with the views for me. I make videos because it's fun. And obviously, like when I did my reaction to the Yankee Candle, um, you know, like what they came up with for fall and the crocodile thing, I was having fun. Yes, I was, you know, bashing a tiny little bit, but they saw the humor in that. And um, I was trying to get my point across and they definitely saw that and they reacted. But to, you know, make videos and be negative and... It's just, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. One person I will say though, that I watched that kind of made like a little reaction video to my video was Tina Delicious. Definitely check him out. Um, I'll post his YouTube below. He has been around for as long as I believe I have been around, maybe even 
around longer than I have. Although I don't know how, because my goodness, he has to be like 22, 23 years old. I don't know, but he's super, super cute, super, super nice. And um, you can tell that he has the candle company's best interest at heart. Like he totally cares about what's going on in the candle community. Um, you know, looks at the candles, talks about the throw, talks about what candle companies can change, um, does his honest reviews. And that's another thing too, honest reviews. If a candle company is sending you candles and you're just saying that the candles are good because they're sending you the candles for free, that is a problem because this is what's going to happen. Let's say a candle company sends me a candle. They want me to review it on my channel. You guys have no idea how many candles I have declined. I have said, no, thank you. I'm sorry, because I can just tell that it's going to be an absolute shit show. So what happens is, you know, these reviewers, they'll get these candles for free because they're thinking, hey, I'm getting candles for free. Why not? Let's do, you know, a review. But the problem is that they're not doing an honest review. They're doing a review that the candle company wants to hear because they're getting the candles for free. And then what happens is Johnny and Susie in the next state over are like, oh my God, these candles are fabulous because so-and-so said they were. So let's go buy them. So Johnny and Susie buy the candles and then they start burning them and it is a literal crap show. And then they come back and say, but wait a minute, this YouTuber said that they were fabulous, that they were good, that the throw was great, that there was no soot and yet this is happening. So it always comes back to you, doesn't it? It always comes back to you. So anyway, um, yeah, that's my little banter on the hashtag candle community crisis that's happening. And I just wanna be clear, when I made my Yankee Candle video, um, I had Yankee Candle's best interest at heart. I wasn't doing it to bash them, and I hope that came across. I hope you guys had fun watching the video, but at the same time saw that I was trying to help the candle community and help Yankee Candle because I really do love the company, and I feel like it can get back to where it was when it was good, but... That's my two cents. Guys, I am baking pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. These are the um, organic from the Kodiak Jack, uh, what is it, like the waffle mix or whatever. If you guys are interested in the recipe, leave a comment down below and I will point you out to my Pinterest because I did pin them, but they are ready to go in the oven at 350 for 25 minutes. This is happening today, not sponsored. But yeah, I am doing this because I feel like it's going to be a day already. Of coffee. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. You guys, I'm stressed out already. Stressed out already about today. Got my coffee now, living life. Guys, these look absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, my whole house smells like pumpkin muffins. Um, Again, the recipe is on Pinterest. If you guys are following me, if you guys are interested, go check it out, but I'm going to eat one of these right now. Hey guys, so I just got done recording my Shake It Off with Angela video, which really wasn't anything to do with weight loss, but I recorded it nonetheless. I got the muffins all divided for this week for meal prep, and I'm getting ready to leave to go get gas, uh, fill up my tank, get ready for the week, and then go visit my mom at the nursing home, which I decided I'm not going to record because I'm sure she's not gonna like it you know, if I walk in or whatever, like with the camera and, you know, like recording her and stuff, like in her, desperate time of need. I don't think she would like that. So I'm going to be snapping pictures though on Snapchat, um, which has passed already because this video goes up a week after I record. So just follow me on Snapchat. The link is down below. If you guys want to search me up, it's AZ for Angela. Um, or I believe on Twitter, I showed like my little Snapchat like logo thing. So again, if you guys are interested, go follow me there. But thank you guys so much for joining me this weekend. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to click on my videos and watch them. If you are not subscribed, I ask you kindly to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys all later. Bye, everyone. Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black. 
black, black with silver buttons, buttons, buttons all down her back, back, back. She asked her mother, mother, mother for fifty cents, cents, cents to see the elephants, elephants, elephants jump over the fence, fence, fence. They jump so high, high, high. They touch the sky, 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 and they never came back, back, back until the fourth of July. Lie, lie, lie.